If young minds not stuck in old ways are the ones to take us forward, we are speaking with a good one here this evening. Sophia Lewis juggles administrative and public relations duties for Dirty Medics Carnival Limited, a cultural brand founded in 2016. We're happy to have her speak with us this evening about Design Me TNT. Hi, Sophia. How are you doing? Hi, good afternoon. I'm great. How are you? I'm all right, thank you, working on it, but I want to hear a little bit about the history of Dirty Medics. Now, if Dirty Medics is the umbrella, what are the specific entities that you have under that umbrella? Well, again, so just as you mentioned before, Dirty Medics was started in 2016 by our CEO, Mark I.M., as well as several other young men. And just as you said, we are very much focused on cultural development and administration and bringing in young people to do that as well. And now we have other entities below us. So we're no longer just a DJ band. We have a kids band called DMC Kids. And we also have a math band called Unleash Math. No. I like the fact that you talk about focusing on the youth, focusing on young people in Carnival, but how important is it to have that administrative element, that development element, especially as it um, generally, and even more so in a time like this when we're facing this kind of unprecedented pandemic? It is definitely important to have young people being part of the administrative, part of the culture. You know, it, it can't just be just masquerading, putting on the costumes, going on the road. We have a lot of young people out there who want to be a part of the bigger part of Carnival, who want to have a say in terms of how things are constructed, how things are run, who have ideas for costumes, who want to be a part of that backstage element of Carnival. And we, as Dirty Medics, always wanted to be the driving force and the platform for young people to be able to have a start in learning how to even begin or how to go about that aspect of Carnival. And I can imagine even more so because sometimes you have a group of people who make decisions and they say, yeah, I feel we should do it like this because possibly that's the way that they've done it or that's the way it's been done or that's the way they're most comfortable. It doesn't really rock any boats. But then you would have people coming up and saying, okay, well, this is something that we're learning. This is something that we're bringing to the table as a little new. It may take a little doing, but you need to attempt it. You need to work on it for it to change and go forward. In, 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 in I believe that progress and change is something that you need, not just in Carnival, but in any aspect of life or business. Change is necessary. Progress is necessary. And, you know, young people, they have so many bright ideas, so many, so so much that they could bring to the table that, you know, Dirty Medics, we see the potential, we, we see it, and from ever since we have always pushed for that. And with regard to bright ideas, what is in mind? What does Dirty Medics have in store for 2021? Sophia, what plans do you all have for the carnival? We see, and as we can't go and go down. Yeah, we can't, we can't, but we want to, and this is how we came up with the idea for Design New Carnival, TNT. We want to inspire young people to build their creative aspect when it comes to Carnival. So a lot of them, they have the, they, you know, they want to be a designer, they want to create a costume, they want to be in that part, but they don't know how. So this competition is supposed to help, to help them start, essentially. So I can actually go into how it's going to help and how you can register and whatnot, if you're ready for that. Yes, please. But even before that, though, it seems as though there was a special emphasis to not just say, okay, well, Trinidad and Tobago, and we have general prizes. Yeah. But there was a specific intent to say, okay, well, we're moving forward. And there's a saying until all have crossed, none have crossed, and some we have to carry. It seems as though you all paid particular focus on unearthing Tobago talent. So is, what was the reason for that? The reason for that is because as a group, we feel like Trinidad is always given first preference and the stage and the platform first over Tobago. And this isn't just for Carnival, but in many other things as well. So we wanted to give Tobago their own platform, their own stage, and their own opportunity to compete amongst themselves, to have their own star, their own designer, 
And that is why we specifically wanted to separate the competition between the two, because we wanted to be able to feature Trinidadian designers on their own, and then to be Gonian designers on their own. And then even if it is that we have a Trinidadian winner, we will also have a Tobagoian winner as well. So which is, the, and that was the main, main, main reason for why it is we decided to switch the two. And uh, we have so many sites with Tobagoian designers who, for the first time of being able to come out and showcase what they've had in store, what they've had in mind that they may not have been able to feed upon. So the competition is really doing some great things over there. Let me chuck some fire on us, Sophia. Is the same prize you all have for both, both for both sides of the equation? The Trinidad designer yes. and the Tobago designer? Yes. So the grand prize is $12,000 and we're splitting the prize. Six grand to the Trinidadian winner and six grand to the Tobagonian winner. And both designers will have the opportunity to have their costume being masqueraded on the streets for Carnival 2022 under Unleashed Mask as well. So those are some things that they can definitely look forward to. We also have the People's Choice Award. The People's Choice is a special prize. It's not going to be announced as yet, but it will be showcased on social media, and the viewers will have the opportunity to decide who they believe is the best designer. Now, we've been talking about it a little bit, but Design Me TNT 2021, what is it about? What are we designing? It is a picture, a costume, uh, a flyer, billboard? Yes. So the, what they're going to be designing is a costume, any costume that they want. But we want them to design something that showcases culture, that showcases Trinidad and Tobago. Any, and it could, be, it could be anything. It could be a kid's costume. It could be an adult costume. However, whatever costume you want to create, whatever it is you have in mind, we want to give you that creative freedom and inspiration to really bring forward what it is that they always wanted to do. Now, even before we go into logistics, I want you to tell me about dates, because Carnival, depending on how you look at it, is two blinks away, or Carnival as we would have celebrated it, the dates for Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. So what kind of timeline you're looking at? So to register, uh, the registration date is from um, the 25th of January to the 5th of February. And on Carnival Week itself is when the competition will be taking place. So Carnival Monday and Tuesday is when it is we will be having the competition. And during that time is when we will be going through all of the sketches. So this, this is part of um, what it is I have to explain as well. So when you register to um, participate in the competition, you're just entering with a sketch. And we will be going through all these sketches and deciding you know, which from all of the sketches that we get, we have to pick five finalists. But there's five finalists from Tobago and five finalists from Trinidad. And after we pick those finalists, then the designers that are chosen, the 10 in total, will have the opportunity to blog their creative process. We want to see how they came about choosing their materials, how what inspired the design that they came up with, how they built it, and they have to present it on a live model as well. So all of that is going to be part of the process. So it seems rushed, but I promise it is not. Um, you, there will be sufficient time, and we will be given guidance and assistance along the way to the um, designers that need it. So it's, a, it's just meant to be a very fun, very freeing, very creative competition for everyone. No, you're talking about this and you're saying it may seem very rushed, but it's not. And I'm just thinking about Tim Gunn from Project Run. We're saying, get it done. But we return with, to this conversation when we come back from this break. We're speaking with Sophia Lewis about Dirty Medics Carnival Limited, Design Me TNT 2021. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are speaking with Sophia Lewis of Dirty Medics Carnival Limited about Design Me TNT 2021. Now, on the we previously you mentioned being able to submit sketches, Sophia. Is there a certain format that you're looking for? Because some people may do better by hand. Some people may want to go to things like uh, Illustrator or other um, digital design tools. Is what are there rules about the way in which people submit those sketches? No, a sketch, once it is um, the, the 
once it is they have that experience in design, they would more than likely understand what it is we mean by the sketch. So the sketch is just going to be the raw concept of what it is you want to create. We just want to see where your idea lies. It's you know supposed to um, consist of the color, the the overall intricate design, the details that will be included in it. But it is just a sketch. We don't expect it to be a prototype or anything like that. It's just supposed to show us exactly where your creative vision is going. I feel like a piece of shade reached my way, you know, because if once they know, once they have the experience, they will know what it is we're looking for. But it's all right. I'll work with it. But in terms of moving forward, though, uh, categories, because categories is something that we heard about. So let us know what categories there are, please. Well, the categories uh, is going to come up in terms of for the judging. So the categories would be, like I mentioned before, use of color, use of material, use of cultural information in terms of how you come about with the design, what inspired it and things like that. So all those categories are what the judges will be looking at when coming to the finals, deciding factor of who will be the winner on each side. And you spoke about one, you spoke about judges, and two, you spoke about people getting help through the process. So let me know a little bit about the judges and what it is they bring to the table, as well as what kind of help that they're allowed to give to people thanks. So the judges are going to be people who are experienced in the industry, people who have been judges before, all, and they will be coming from CPCBA, which is the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival Band Association. And the help that we will be providing is help such as coming, putting their blog together. Not, not necessarily in terms of the building of their costume, because that is all up to them. But when it comes to the blogging and how they record their process and everything, when it comes to the editing and all of that, that is where our assistance will come in. So and we I really still want them to create their own blog and send it in. But when we get it, we will further edit it and you know, fix it to their desire. And I appreciate that because we're in a time and space now where it seems as though everyone creates content, but we put it out with different degrees of success, I guess. So in terms of saying, okay, well, we're going to help you take this blog to the next level and be it even if you don't win, it may be something that the person continues with in terms of they got help with their blog and they got some tips and tricks. So they say, okay, well, this is how they can move their brand and their idea, their vision forward. Is that something that you always say, okay, well, we want to do for uh, people who are participating? I'm sorry, I did not hear the last part of your question. Could you please... Did it, was it something that you all consciously said, okay, we want to help people do this in terms of going forward? And it seems as though we're getting some slight troubles. Hopefully you're hearing us now, Sophia. Yes. No, Great. Yeah. So is this something that you consciously wanted to do in terms of helping people to promote themselves, their blogs, their brands, their visions? Yes, it is. So, you know, everyone, again, like we said before, we feel like there are a lot of people who want to start here and they don't know how to start. So even if it is that they don't win, they still have the opportunity to showcase you know, their talent and where their talent is going. So even if it is they don't win with us, maybe it would inspire others out there. Maybe it could help to push themselves. Somebody would see them and they could really open up opportunities for themselves. And sometimes people just need to start to be a content creator. So some of them, even if it is they don't enter into the industry, they would still want to be part of that creative process, that creative industry and you know, developing content for themselves and for others out there as well. So the content creation part is really just for them to be able to express themselves fully, to be able to fully explain everything about what it is they came up with, and also for to be an inspiration as well. Now, who is the ideal person you want to participate in this? And I say that because you're, you, if you have judges, that means there are some people who are not eligible. So. On the other side, who is eligible to take part in this com in this competition? It's anyone. We actually have it. We we legitimately have it open to anyone. We specifically wanted to target between the ages of 20 to 35 because you know we wanted it to be mostly young people 
new fresh designers coming out there, but the competition is open to anyone. Once it is you want to create, once it is you have an idea and you have a costume that you want to put out there, we welcome you to bring in your design. So where are some of the places that you see um, these designs being showcased? Now, I know you said on individual blogs, but how does Dirty Medics plan to take it forward as well? So, all right, so we have the winner. What it is it you're going to do with them? The winners, whoever wins, both on Trinidad and Tobago side, will have the opportunity to have the same costume that won the competition to be worn by masqueraders on the road in Unleash Mask Band in 2022. So that's really where they start and they, the continuation is going to be. So it's not just that they come in the competition, they win some money and, you know, it, they go. It's that they actually get the chance to have their, to see their costumes on the road being paraded in the streets as well. I'm trying to understand the mindset of uh, someone who's that forward thinking and saying, okay, well, we, we want to bring everyone along and say, okay, well, imagine... 30, 20 years down the road, someone can say, I got my start through a competition like this, through Dirty Medics. What will that do for you all? What kind of mindset will you all have? Honestly, we are just happy to be a part of cultural development. Everything that we do, we look forward to inspiring someone, to being the stepping stone for someone. You know, it's not just that we want to create costumes or that we want to have a juvie band and just have people come and flash paint and all of those sorts of things. We want to encourage young people and people out there to see and learn the other aspects of carnival as well. You know, we've even had um, a drive before where we taught young people, as in kids, eight years old, 10 years old, how to create costumes. We taught them the history of carnival and we actually brought materials for them on a Saturday and taught them like, okay, this is braiding. This is how we accomplish these types of things. So we actually showed them how their costumes are created. So they kept bang, we showed it to them and they were happy to wear their creations on the street. So that is, a, that is something that we focus on a lot. And in terms of getting into contact with Dirty Medics, because there may be someone who's saying, hmm, I have a design, you know, but I don't think I ready yet or past carnival someone has an idea someone has a design someone possibly just looking for a little bit of advice is that something that you allow facilitate and how do people contact you in generally so they can contact us on our social media page um we have facebook and instagram there is dirty medic well, at Dirty Medic on Instagram, Dirty Medic Carnival on Facebook, Unleash Mask, at Unleash Mask on Instagram, and CMC Kids on Facebook as well. So what you can do is you can come onto our social media and you can message us directly. We also have a contact number. So you can contact us at 387-3420. That's 387-3420. And we'll be happy to answer any concerns and questions that our potential designers may have. All right, so we want to thank you so much, Sophia Lewis, for giving us an idea and also for opening up an opportunity for possibly the next great designer, be it Carnival or otherwise, from Trinidad and Tobago. Because sometimes that and Tobago is kind of smaller print than the Trinidad. So once more, thank you and thank the crew at Dirty Medics Carnival Limited for the work that you're doing. And on behalf of the entire news team, we want to thank you for joining us this evening. I'm DK Rostar. Have a good night.